Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the third. Uh, keep in mind the timing is fluid, all right? These readings are timeless. I had a woman yesterday comment on a reading that was done a year ago. Um, so, yeah, keep that in mind. You may hear snoring in the background. That is my dog. Uh, she's laying right behind me, and uh, she's all drugged up. She spent the day in intensive care, and uh, she's going back tomorrow. But they don't have anybody that works at night. They wanted to keep her, but they were going to keep her in a cage all night. Um, or I don't know what they were, but they, nobody was going to be there, and I said no. So she's laying behind me. Um, all drugged up. So let's get started. Going back to intensive care first thing in the morning. So she has like a renal failure. Sudden. So I don't know. So let's see what we got. What do we got for today? The Fool. Three of Wands. Five of Swords. And the Seven of Cups reversed. So this is a fresh start. We have a new beginning. Get prepared for an arrival. Somebody has walked away. They've walked away from another person that has been belittling them because they see clearly that there is a better option. There is a better option. They've received some sort of clarity. There's no need to fight. They're sick of fighting. So it's like they're going somewhere and they're traveling to a new destination. This is definitely traveling to a new destination. This is a new beginning, stepping into new territory, leaving something behind, hoping for the best, focusing on the future. It's time to focus on the future. I don't want to fight anymore. It's been a constant battle. Somebody has been battling, fighting. They've pushed everybody away, the person they've been dealing with. It's like, I don't want to deal with you either. There's There was an element of illusion and confusion but now this person that is deciding to walk away has received clarity that there's a better option so they're decided to get on board it's like I'm getting on board another ship I'm getting the hell out of here so you or they're arriving this could be a departure or an arrival okay and this right here is uh, spur of the moment decision. So somebody may be making a spur of the moment decision to take a risk. Whatever they are taking a risk on, they are leaving behind somebody that they fought with all the time. That sold them some sort of fantasy. This was a you know poor decision perhaps. It looked really good, but it wasn't all it was cracked up to be. Now, the Fool is a new phase that is beginning. Somebody is definitely taking a journey with these two cards. They are. They are taking a journey. Hmm. There's been a lack of respect, a lack of togetherness, perhaps a lack of communication. There could have been a third party here. Somebody was involved with the wrong one. Perhaps. Anyway, this three of pentacles reversed is lack of communication, lack of respect for others. Uh, disharmony can't work well with others. Doesn't want to learn any new things. Unwilling. Unwilling to. Unwilling to learn, learn anything. Uh, going their own way. This is freedom. This is definitely freedom. Ooh, we have a loveless situation here. There's emotional discomfort. This is an emotional blockage of some sort. This could also be emotional shutdown. There could be a lot of tears that are shed. Somebody's leaving. They're leaving. There's a need to refocus. Oh my God, look at the threes. This is parting ways. The three of cups is parting ways. This party is over. This is a termination. 
there's been a lack of emotional growth. There could be some a friend that really isn't a friend, you know, an enemy. This, this could be parting ways from a friendship or a relationship or a third party. Definitely a choice is being made because this is seeing clearly what the choice should have been or should be. This is gossiping. This is belittling. This is tears. This three of cups reversed is... Uh, parting of ways of some sort. This is not something to celebrate. This is dashed expectations right here. Somebody's prayers, and I hate to say this, it's like somebody may have been hoping, you know, we got these three threes, but two of them are reversed. Somebody may have been hoping for uh, something to work out, and it's not working out. This is a spur of the moment decision. Somebody's going to be making a spur of the moment decision. This is seeing clearly what the choice is. Get prepared. There could be some tears here. This is get prepared. There could be some tears. <clears throat> now that five of swords, that five of swords is walking away, saying goodbye. Oh my God, Six of Swords. That is definitely saying goodbye. That is saying goodbye. There's going to a better place that's leaving something troublesome behind. So somebody is seeing clearly that, you know, it's time to go someplace else. There's, this is a lose-lose situation. It's like there's no options left. This is what it has to be. Hmm. Ah. Wow, this is interesting because this is about options. This is this is uh, a choice. This is a, a profit and a loss. It's a up and down. This is a decision. There is a decision that is going to be made. This is about being flexible and a need to adapt. Somebody may need to adapt. They're definitely going to have to make a choice between two options. Oh, there's no hope. There's no hope. There's there's no hope. Yeah. So that is the star card is lack of hope. There could be some extremely poor health with that. That is depression, that's illness, that's uh, loss of will. Why is this happening? Somebody may even say these those words. Why is this happening? Why is this happening? It's maybe happening because somebody missed something. You know, they were they because you see usually with this card there's a ship sailing behind. They miss they missed the boat. They missed something because they had too much on their plate or they were not paying attention. Somebody wasn't paying attention perhaps to the to the signs or something like that. Anyhow, this is a lack of hope. There's, there's a, why is this happening? It's definitely moving to a better place. Time to go someplace else. Uh, this, this is moving on. Mm, emperor reverse. Now the emperor reverse is, is an energy of disorganization. Uh, doesn't care. Uh, poor planning. This person, um... doesn't care only cares about themselves 
the emperor in reverse doesn't take responsibility. He really isn't interested in helping. This is somebody that... Uh, not very experienced perhaps, isn't very skilled, and this is lack of skills as well. So we may have somebody here that just doesn't have the skills or doesn't even have the desire, doesn't really have the desire to put in effort. Uh, so they're leaving something, they just don't care. They're not even trying. Um, or they're just giving up, they may be giving up. The Emperor in reverse, This is somebody could end up getting angry as well. This is the emperor is a person that is usually in a position of authority that works very hard to be successful, is very, very skilled and educated and knowledgeable, and is always looking out for their people. But in reverse, this person doesn't care. This person doesn't care. This person only cares about themselves. feel like there's that we have a departure. I think we have a departure here. This could be the boss. Uh, it could be a father. It could be a husband. This is somebody that uh, is mean. This person just is very inexperienced as well. This person is... only cares about themselves. This person only cares about themselves. They don't even care at all. All they care about is getting this over with. Lack of teamwork here. No togetherness. Oh my God. Death, death, death is the end. It's the end of a situation. It's a transformation. It's the, it's a, it's an ending that leads to a new beginning. So this is a separation uh, from somebody maybe you've been working with or something like that. And it could be work related. I'm not sure. This is an ending. It is a separation. Get prepared to hear about it. Get prepared to hear some sort of news. It's probably not going to make you happy with the Ace of Cups reversed and the Three of Cups reversed. I feel like there's definitely a separation here. This is a major profound change. This is an ending that allows you to open a new door. But it's not going to come without tears. It's going to be very emotional because the Ace of Cups is going to be an emotional ending of some sort. Somebody's going to have to make a spur of the moment decision. You know. Ah, oh, the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords. So, yeah. Based on the truth, based on the facts, somebody's going to get some sort of information. They're going to have to make an, a decision based on the facts okay that's the sort of truth in her hand she's going to be making a, a very difficult decision this is somebody that um is gonna have to think fast this is very intense very very wise the queen of swords um is going to be choosing She's the one that is making the choice. Do we hold on? Do we let go? What are we going to do? Um, going back and forth. But the, if there's a lack of clarity, clarity is going to come. Clarity is going to come. If, if there's been some sort of confusion, the confusion is going to be cleared up. And then a the, the decision is going to have to be made. So this Queen of Swords has the power. She has the, she has the sword in her hand. She has the truth. 
But I feel like with the star card reverse, it's like, why is this happening? It's happening because it's time for a change. There's, it is because this is a change. This is a change. This is, there's an ending that is, is, you know, everything happens for a reason. Perhaps we have somebody here that wants to travel or they want to go their own way or whatever the case is. This is, this is traveling. It's taking a journey, leaving everything behind carefree. Uh, letting go of responsibilities and starting a new chapter. So not wanting to. Uh, uh, this is this party is over. This is nothing to celebrate. Not wanting to work together with somebody. Um, this is the end. It's the end of a uh, emotional. Uh, <coughs> situation I feel like this is heartbreaking with that ace of cups reversed we have this is a heartbreaking departure I'm not sure who it is to deal with but it is somebody that you know, it could, it could, I don't know who it is. Um, this person is, is on the wrong side of the law or just doesn't care or whatever. And it doesn't have to be this person. This person could be delivering a message. Somebody, this person is involved somehow. The emperor in reverse. This is a person that makes decisions but makes decisions based on no experience you know what I'm saying or lack of experience or stupidity or something like that this could also going another route be a father or a boss or a husband or somebody that is uh, losing their desire they're losing their desire to involve themselves in a battle you know what I mean they don't want to battle they're giving up the fight they're moving on somebody is is seeing a better option and they're taking it put it that way this is leaving everything behind it is the, the fool is starting a new journey leaving the past behind not taking any of that with you There's definitely a parting of ways here and traveling to a new destination. All of a sudden, too, it's definitely a sudden. This is going to be difficult news. It is. It's going to be difficult news. Nine of Cups. So the Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment but right next to the star card reversed the star card reversed is loss of hope lack of hope lack of renewal why is this happening why is this happening there's been some sort of overindulgence here somebody was going overboard that's why they overdid it Perhaps going another route, we have a Queen of Swords that has been wishing. They've been they've been wishing for something, wishing and hoping for something, you know. And you know, Pentacles are manifestation, and this is a profit and a loss. One man's trash is another man's treasure, you know. So that's interesting. I know that changes the story a little bit, but it feels like the one person here is getting their wish. That's why this is the reason this there's a reason why things don't work out. 
so that so that they can fulfill your wishes which is it's hard to explain but a new perspective is needed because the queen of of swords looks at things from a new perspective so clarity is going to be gained as to why something happened because it's like you're now you're free now you're free to go Yeah, somebody sneezing over there like crazy. Anyhow, we do have the death card is a profound life change. We have a separation or a loss with a new beginning to follow. There is there is a there is a parting of ways and it's going to be very very emotional. I think it has to we could be dealing with an Aries. We could be dealing with Scorpio. We could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have Aquarius here. Um we could be dealing with anybody. We have somebody that, you know, has been wishing for a change. <laughs> Universe hears that wish. And and threes about your prayers being heard, even though we have two of them reversed. Sometimes we got three threes here. So even though they're reversed, you know, part, maybe your prayers get answered in a way that you did not expect. I think we have a detachment here. And this is like information overload. I do feel like it's information overload. I think that everything has happening all at once and it's probably going to be overwhelming. One more card. I feel like we can expect somebody to depart. Okay? And I think it's going to be emotional. Um... That's what I see. I also see travel here. Somebody may be moving. They're moving. And this departure breaks them free and allows them to move. There it is. Ah! It came, you saw it happen. It rolled right out. This is a new destination. This is the completion. It's a major completion of a cycle. A long-term phase in your life, whatever it was, it could have been it could have been a school that you went to for however many years, a job that you worked at forever, um, a marriage that you were in for a long time. This is something that affected you in a big way. Could be a relationship of any kind. Could be between siblings and or parents and children or whatever. Something significant is coming to an end. A long-term uh, project has come full circle. This is freedom. This is freedom. This is completing and beginning anew. It's turning your back on the past. And, it's, and I said one more card. The first card out was the fool. And the last card out is the world. We have one journey, one chapter, one phase that is ending. And a new phase is beginning. Somebody is letting go of what they've been holding on to. Keep it. I'm done. There's going to be a change of residence here in the very near future. Good luck.